after talking about characters, story, and soundtrack, I bring you part two. Now, this story is really simple. I mean, I'm gonna tell you why this movie is awesome. This movie is simple, okay? There's bad guys, good guys. Good guys running away, bad guys coming for them. Many people hate this movie and say it's the worst movie because you don't see Mad Max as Mad Max. First of all, Mad Max is not the action hero. I mean, Beyond Thunderdome had him as an action hero, but not as much action hero. I mean, Mad Max is an ordinary guy that got crazy. I mean, like, seriously. He was an ordinary guy. Then he got crazy. Mad. That's pretty much what you need to know. Furiosa is kind of the main character, but it isn't. Furiosa is like this cool sidekick. Well, not sidekick. She's like this cool girl, cool person that just is a badass truck driver. Mad Max is just this kind of ordinary guy. He was an ordinary guy. Then he turned mad, and he's... I don't know, he's just there, okay? Obviously there is a kid, and you know, the people that say, Oh, females can't do that. I hate stereotypes, I really do. People stereotypes stop, okay? They're not real. I mean, seriously, I mean, a woman can... There is a lot of women, women that shoot guns and they're bad asses, okay? Look at Katniss Everdeen. You blame on her? You blame on her? No. Stop blaming on Furiosa. So kind of, yeah, I mean, like, people are blaming her because, I'm blaming the movie, actually, because, well, she is a badass. Yes, I know she's a badass. But Max is also a badass. <laughs> I mean, I should stop saying badass because I'm a badass too. Maybe, I don't know. So anyway, why I'm telling you this, he is a badass. Well, first of all, he's not this action hero, and he's not this weak guy cannot do anything. Okay, he's like, weak guy can that can do, and badass, together. And yeah, sort of. Now, I mean, there is a scene in the movie where he, like, He's like, Furiosa is gonna shoot at him. Well, he's gonna like, shoot in his arm. Like, Furiosa has a sniper. And she's like, don't breathe. And he's like, and then they shoot. Well, how could you do that? Tell me right now. Would you do that? Would you do that? I wouldn't. Certainly not. Nope, I wouldn't. It's just like, imagine. The noise. The noise. Other thing is that in that scene also, they're like, they need like backup. So Max goes there, fucks them up, and then comes back with blood. And she's like, and a woman's like, huh, oh, you got hurt. And, she, and Furious is like, saw his blood. And he just stays quiet. Isn't that too badass? I guess that is badass. I mean, seriously. Seriously, that that is just fucking creepy, but, um, I mean, seriously, he had no guns. No guns, just fists. Or maybe he picked up a, picked up a gun and, psh, I don't know. But isn't that badass enough? I mean, you don't really need much else. I mean... The the bad guy is just the bad guy. I mean, they do put attention to him and you're like, okay, I know who this bad guy is. And you don't need to know more about it. So yeah, I mean, I love this movie. Something I do love is that it doesn't get boring every time I watch it. I love it. People say there's not great characters. There is great characters. Furiosa has... She says, like, badass, revillian character. So, yeah. She, 
like this badass character, and uh, like she's like the rebellion, like the Star Wars um rebellion things. Well, yeah, those. They're those. So yeah, I mean, she's just trying to be like a rebel through Immortal Joe. Immortan Joe, sorry. So yeah, I mean, something I love about this movie, seriously do. Another thing, actually. This movie goes on. I love that. I mean, kind of not end, like, kind of second act of the ending of the second act. You're like, ah, oh, it's gonna end. Like, they're gonna just go and then end. Nope, keeps going. And you're like, yes, more stuff. More cool soundtrack, more great badass stuff, and more great stuff. I mean, I'm serious. Okay.